Hi, what's up, y'all? It's popping in today. About to react to this event. It's titled Kendrick Lamar Destroys Drake OVO Al and Shows His Kids and Not Like Us Leaked Music Video Images. Um, so the video has already dropped, as many of you know. I already reacted to it. It's over on my Patreon right now. If you're interested, link down below. I had lots of thoughts <laughs> about that video. Okay. Said what when I said already, but this obviously was uploaded prior to the music video dropping um it dropped today on 4th of july um it'll be the fifth when you guys see this but um yeah what we're gonna see you know what he has to say about these leaked images and uh what, what he shows in this vid let's watch boy it's on drake is not going to like this now i believe <laughs> this is, is the final like piece this. the last installation of this drake and kendrick beef Two weeks ago, Kendrick Lamar... Remember I told y'all, though, the streets is talking, all right? The streets is talking. <laughs> the industry streets. I forgot where I heard this. Was it the Joe Budden podcast? Or... I don't remember, but apparently... And then I, I feel like I even saw something on IG about it. It was like an inside source. But anyway, the streets are saying that Drake is planning to drop something in response to this music video dropping. So I don't know if it's going to be today, which is today, the 4th of July, or it's going to be tomorrow. Well, today when y'all see it on Friday <laughs> or this weekend or next week, I'm not sure. Or maybe it's just a rumor and it's not true. I'm not sure. But people are saying that Drake is not happy with, you know, what's going on. He's, you know, steaming about this whole situation and he wants to retaliate in some type of way. I know he's, you know, trying to appear as this unbothered uh, king <laughs> on, on, on IG, but we should all know. Social media is fake, okay? We should all know that by now. This, all this shit is a facade. It's fake. So he wants people to believe he's unbothered and he's chilling and he's just out, you know, living his life and chilling in Turks or whatever the hell he doing. But in reality, this man is losing weight. Have you seen Drake recently? This man looks like he bought, he dropped about 25 pounds in the, in the past month. All right. He looks like he's going through it. And apparently, the industry is talking. And they saying he's going through it. So he wants to come out with something. So he talking about, oh, this is the last installment. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> but you heard it here first. Or maybe you did. Maybe you saw it <laughs> like I did. And to Compton to go film his Not Like Us music video. <clears throat> a lot of LA rappers were actually out there. You had guys like YG, Problem, Roddy Rich, and a whole bunch of other LA artists. Now, we still do not have a drop date not. for this actual video, but last night, some Fourth alleged... July, I already game. talked about, you know, the symbolism <laughs> and the, the meaning behind him dropping on 4th of July. I really want a music video breakdown. Somebody gonna drop it, and I can't wait, because I'm sure there are things that I missed in my analysis of the music video. Um, but yeah, I already discussed why I feel like he dropped it on 4th of July specifically. This were leaked. I'm gonna assume somebody from Kendrick's team leaked this on purpose just to get the conversation going, just to build up hype for the video to come. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you so guys, cute. the I love first the short image here. that dropped is very disrespectful. It's Kendrick Lamar beating on an OVO album. Pinata. And then you got a disclaimer that says, no OVOs were harmed during the making of this video. Obviously, the OVO owl is Drake's brand. It's what Drake has been repping ever since he came into the game. I can't imagine that Drake would take it well seeing Kendrick Lamar taking a bet to his OVO owl. Now, the second still image that dropped last night was Kendrick Lamar, his fiance Whitney, and their kids. This is meant to dispel what Drake said about Kendrick and Whitney, that they're no longer together and Kendrick is single living in New York, and also dispelling what Drake said about one of Kendrick okay. Lamar's kids belonging to his business manager, they free. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, from the looks of it so far, it's working. Everybody's looking at this so family weird. picture saying, bro, Drake... Patreon! <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. My Patreon people who saw my my uh, video reaction was just lying in his raps. Kendrick's kids look exactly just like him. His son has his ear. His daughter has his face. There's no way that these kids belong to anybody else but Kendrick. Now this was another picture that Hello? last night. It's Kendrick with Top Dog Punch TDE, and you guessed it. This was in Compton where Drake claimed that he gets more love than Kendrick. So far from these leaked pictures, 
Looks like Kendrick Lamar is planning to dispute a lot of what Drake said to him in those diss songs. Anything he feels like Drake lied about during their beef, Kendrick is planning to expose it as a lie. Now, to be fair, Drake has not been totally silenced throughout this whole thing. He's been accusing Kendrick Lamar of stream botting any chance he gets. Most recently was... Th I think this is an odd thing to keep bringing up as well because Drake also used bots. Like, I, I hear a lot of celebrities use bots like the A-list celebrity. So it's like, how you trying to expose that when you're doing the same thing? Y'all both use bots. Apparently the bots you use wasn't working that well. <laughs> but I honestly just feel like organically, Kendrick just got more attention and he got more views and more love for his diss tracks. That's just the reality of it. Aside from numbers, just you know, hearing the sentiments of people, the people in the streets, and you know, I feel it here living in LA. I just feel well, I'm in LA, so a little bias there. But even though when I go to other countries, bro, <laughs> people just fuck with they just fuck with, with Kendrick's songs more. And I don't hear Drake play literally at all. I and I've been out quite a bit uh this summer. I mean the summer summer just technically started, but I've been outside, <laughs> you know, for the past few months. And no, not once have I heard Drake's diss track. Literally not one time. So, aside from the bots, people just fuck with Kendrick's songs better or more. Three days ago on the kick stream where Drake accused Spotify of backdooring streams for Kendrick Lamar's song. So you gotta imagine, if the impact of the song Not Like Us has Drake bothered this much, how would Drake take it when the music video drops and it's nothing but disrespects to him and OVO? Will he come back I just back said that. Also, in the same video. Was that on Patreon? No, I just said that just now. What the fuck is these niggas doing upstairs? I wanna fight. Um... I said Drake is bothered, you know, people, and I've seen some comments of people being like, on like IG and stuff, when he's posting stuff, people like, oh, ha ha, Drake is funny, he's so unbothered, y'all are goofy and blind, <laughs> and very naive, if you honestly think this man is chilling and not bothered at all, like, mm, it's okay, the whole world is laughing at me and clowning right now, they all dancing and not like us, it's such a big deal right now, but I'm chilling, la da 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 Drake, of all people, who, was, who have been pressed by way less in the past, y'all gotta think about how pressed he got over Kendrick mentioning his name, just mentioning his name in a friendly way on control. Like, look how pressed he was. Go back and look at those interviews. He was so bothered by Kendrick mentioning him. You honestly think this man is not pressed by all of this occurring. He's He's pressed. All right, he getting skinty and it ain't the Ozempic because he been on the Ozempic. <laughs> all right, it stopped working for him, all right? All right, he been on Ozempic. It ain't the Ozempic. Ozempic. <laughs> it ain't the Ozempic that's kicking in. His stress is kicking in. This man ain't eating. He ain't sleeping. All right, he's bothered. He's pressed. Drop more this records like he was supposed to before his security guard were shot, or would Drake just ignore everything and keep on making the dance summer records? I want to go up there and say something, but is that gonna make it worse for me? Are they gonna Lincoln make Bellas even more album? noise? And let's not forget about Wagwan Delilah. Listen, man, you guys get in the comments below. This is the most anticipated music video of the year. I mean, it is. I've been waiting for it, honestly. I've been, you know, waiting for it to drop because I know that he uh, recorded this video the weekend of Juneteenth. So I was just like, any day now. <laughs> but I had no idea he would drop on the 4th of July while he had to pop out on Juneteenth. Crazy, crazy. Anyway, I already gave all my thoughts and my breakdown of the music video and how I feel about this whole situation over my Patreon. Go check it out. Link down below. Go support, go join the family. We are over there discussing. Anyway, hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Let me know what other videos you wanna watch and I'll see y'all the next time. Bye.